Today, I'll be going over the current USA 1050 gallon per hour uh, wave pump. I will be telling you guys how to take it apart and how I clean it. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I am Jess Moses and if you guys like everything reef related or anything to do with aquariums and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit that subscription button so you don't miss out on anything coming up in the future that I have coming out. And to those of you who have already subscribed to me, I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome and amazing as always. But as that's being said, uh, we're gonna get into this current USA wave pump. I have a 1050 gallon per hour wave pump and we will be going over how to um, take it apart and clean it. So it's pretty simple. This won't be a long video, so it'd be super easy, but I, I had a hard time finding how to take this apart when I was you know, trying to figure it out. So I wanted to make a video for you guys, try to help you guys out. So that being said, let's get into it. So here we have the actual current USA pump itself. Now it comes with these components. It comes with the actual pump itself, it comes with the magnet, and it comes with a foam filter that goes over top of it. Uh, don't mind how dirty this is. This is a uh, wrapped with Coraline algae as this used to be one of my main pumps in my tank. Now the reason I pulled this out is because I had to actually pull a warranty card on this because it's, it quit working. Um, and I'll go over that with you guys a little more in a, in a little bit. But for now, I kind of want to show you guys how to take this apart. Uh, it's really simple. And uh, so you just take the housing here just like that and then it's just a twist you just twist it and it comes right out but you have to be very careful not to break this little ceramic piece here because without this ceramic piece that you see stuck in here this little ceramic rod without this piece the the pump will not work uh, this is the part that I actually had break on me and the pump stopped working completely so so that's pretty much how you take it apart um, these are the components that go back into it and it just goes back in like so you just have to work with it a little bit see I'm struggling too yeah and it goes in just like that so it's pretty simple guys um, make sure you guys keep these little rubber gr uh, grommets here because it will keep it from rattling so much and uh, and you can get it to be really quiet so but that's pretty much how you take it apart. Super easy, guys. All right, so let's get into cleaning my pumps. Now you can see I have two of them here. I have one on the right side here. It's been a while since I've actually cleaned that one. Um, and the biggest thing about cleaning these is if you don't clean them, they won't perform as good. So uh, if you're seeing poor performance from these specific pumps, uh, just give it a nice cleaning and it will do a good job uh, of pushing that water after you clean it so and you can see I have one in the back here as well so we'll get into doing that one as well all right so let's get this stuff pulled out of the tank and let's clean it make sure you turn them off before you actually try to pull them out though <laughs> All right, so they're relatively easy to pull off. You just pull that magnet off the back and just pull them out of the tank. So it's pretty simple. Like I said, just turn them off before you pull them out and everything will be cool. All right, so here's the actual pump itself. It looks like it's got a little bit of hair algae on it. Uh, it's got a bunch of core line on it, which really doesn't bother me. Uh, if it gets too crusty, then I'll crust, like take something and scrape it off. Uh, but it looks okay. I, I think I could deal with this much core line algae. Now I have a ton of bubble algae uh, I think this is probably contributing to some of my flow factor and uh, what limits it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned off for you guys and show you. So guys, in this section, I literally just take a, something simple like a bowl. Uh, in my case, it was a popcorn bowl. I put tap water in it and I soak the actual wave pump in it. I take a, a toothbrush, any kind of toothbrush works. In this case, I used an electric toothbrush uh, replacement. Uh, like I said, any type of toothbrush works. 
And uh, yes, I do not use vinegar. I don't use citric acid. I don't like to use any kind of chemicals to do this. Uh, simply because I think uh, using water does just fine. Uh, the next thing I do is I actually use a butter knife to help kind of chip away some of that coralline algae. And now the coralline algae really doesn't bother me too much because it really doesn't get in the way of the wave pump. Uh, but I do get some of the excess of it off just to make sure it doesn't cover too much and uh, end up crusting it over way too much. Uh, but for the most part, coralline algae really doesn't mess with the wave pump too much. So the last thing I'm going to do is literally just take some RODI water and I'm just going to pour it right over the uh, wave maker just to make sure I don't have anything nasty on it. And that just it makes peace of mind for me. All right, like I said, let's get these pumps back in and see how they do. Okay, so I'm gonna turn these on and see if they're in the right position. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and fire these up, see what happens. On. Oh yeah. Looks like we got much better movement. You can see all the stuff is blowing around. So, this is a complete success. You can see how much stronger that current is up top. Move this light out the way. So that's the kind of movement I want in my tank. Uh, I don't want any dead spots. So this is doing very good. So now that we've actually gone over how to take the pump apart and how I personally clean it, I don't use vinegar, I don't use six or acid. I just simply use tap water and rinse it with RODI water afterwards. Um, but that being said, I kind of want to give you guys uh, maybe like a quick review of what I think about this, these pumps. Um, I like them. I do. Uh, they're, and I'm going to give you guys some key factors here on why I do like them. Uh, one, they're cheap. They run generally around a hundred, uh, maybe a hundred dollars, a little less than a hundred dollars. I think I paid about 70 bucks for mine each. Now each, uh, different gallon per hour pumps will be a different price. The bigger you go, the more expensive it's going to be. Uh, number two, uh, they, they do rotate and you can point them in any direction you want and I really like that simply because it's better for a nano tank and it's more versatile into it for a nano tank. Uh, some of those uh, other ones that you have a dry side and a wet side will be very limited in a tank like this. So I do enjoy the fact that I can move them around and uh, put them where I want. Now the third thing is that they're super easy to clean uh, and they have done really well and I have had it, no, no issues with it. So that's my third reason. And my fourth key factor is that it works with the actual loop system itself. Now that works with my lights, my pumps, my return pump, and that's it. So they all work together uh, in one area, in one unit, which is basically my phone. So I really like that a lot. So. The only con I think I have of this is that I actually had one 
break, like I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, the ceramic rod broke in it and it was no longer able to use it. And uh, I had to say, Current USA customer service was really good. I had, I had a really good experience with them. They replaced it immediately, no questions asked. I, all I had to do was just send them a, a picture of it and it was done, done deal. So, and I, I got the pump within like maybe two or three days. So it was not a big deal and uh, it was easy. So, so now that I've shown you guys everything on this, I appreciate you guys hanging around, sticking around, checking out the video, checking out the channel. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscription button. If you like this video, hit the like. And if you guys have any comments of what I do here, and if you guys want to see any type of videos in the future, please leave that comment. I will happily uh, respond to you guys. So peace out, guys. All right, guys, so I'm Jess Moses. Feel free to click on my stupid face. Give me that subscribe. And if you want to see what I'm doing when I'm not on YouTube, feel free to check out my Instagram so I'm always posting on there and if you want to see any other videos if this is your first video you've seen of mine feel free to click on any of these two that you see on the end screen so take care guys and refund